Arts for Social Change, the creative outreach of the Amas project is the title of my presentation. My name is Andrea Karpati and I come from the Corvinus University of Budapest. Uh, the project is part of the Acting on the Margins Arts as Social Sculpture project, an international endeavor, executed in the framework of the Horizon 2020, uh, one of the grants which has a very interesting name, Socioeconomic and Cultural Transformation. We are a university of economics and we have uh, social consciousness and also different programs in social science and communication. So this is a grant for us, very relevant activities. Here is the compound of nations, countries that are working together in a mass, from Sweden to Malta, spanning through Europe, Finland, the United Kingdom, Portugal, the Czech Republic, and finally Hungary. Of the projects, I'm going to tell you a bit more. Creativity in the times of crisis is the name, the title of this conference. But what do you need to stay creative in crisis? You not only need your fantastic creation skills, but you also have to be resilient and self-assured. So these are these two sets of skills that we strive to develop. Resilience develops appropriate adapting strategies via self-assurance through developing communication skills and divergent thinking will result, we hope, in a sustainable creativity. Something that doesn't go away when the grant period is over, when the project is gone, but will change how poor kids are normally educated in schools, in the arts, in this country. It is a beautiful training program overall, a beautiful curriculum. We want to make it relevant. Uh, the Hungarian MS projects you can see on the screen. I'm not going to discuss them all. I'm just I just highlighted one word, teachers. It is the students we want to do good to, but it is the teachers we find the key agents in change. So what we have to do is to train them, to offer them an online journal, to do mentoring for them, and of course to introduce them to high art that is also relevant, which means contemporary art. At Corvinus, we are uh, embarking on a communication program in a top 200 uh, business university. We are embracing young Romani women, young gypsy women, to use a more understand uh, understandable term, whom are we are going to train in communication, but also in self-assertion and in resilience to use communication skills in their business. We are working through art. The Ludwig Museums project that I want to very, very briefly describe to you now, it's a contemporary arts museum. And perhaps not all of you know that contemporary arts are life relevant in our times. They are issue based. They are socially challenging. They encounter you. They shake you. They want to lead to better worlds. So the contemporary arts uh, museum is offering relevant cultural experiences with contemporary arts and to enhance communication skills and creativity at the same time. Not just artistic self-expression, but communication you can use when learning different disciplines. Also, Ludwig Museum is situated in a border of two worlds. Museum office buildings and elegant housing on one side, and on the other side, ghettos of the poor. Low SAS families who never go to the Ludwig. However, it's just a few steps away, but now they will. Because project, uh, our project in a mass has the title, It's Your Life. We want to show these kids, with the help of museum educators, conductors, media designers, that in group interpretations of artworks, through sound painting, a beautiful creative method of visualizing sound and creating art that is in turn musically relevant and through process drama, 
which means using art, using contemporary art, to challenge issues of your own life, represent them, give them shape, make them beautiful, or not so. Anyway, make them tangible. Be resilient in creating, act together, and perhaps change your viewpoint, change your perspective about life. And if I still have a minute, there is a very, very messy last slide, which shows you a, a previous good practice that proved for us that art really helps. Image, Sound, Language and Numbers was the title of an interdisciplinary project for multi-grade schools that we conducted 10 years ago with Katalin Munkachi, a mathematics teacher, and Eva, Eva Molnar, and assessment specialist. We worked with 21 multi-grade schools, poverty-stricken. We taught mathematics through visual arts, visualization, scientific imaging, and it helped.